before accessing the electronic compartment and the mechanicals inside, turn the power off, allow it to cool down, and then unplug it from the power source. In this video, we'll be discussing the drive chain routing, sprocket configuration, and drive chain tensioning on the McDonald's HCT5H lunch toaster. The idler sprocket shown here is physically located at the very top of the toaster. The upper drive sprocket is located slightly below here. The spring-loaded tensioning sprocket shown here is located here. The motor sprocket is actually located further below down at the bottom behind here. And the lower drive sprocket shown here is located at the very bottom towards my right. The drive chain must contain a minimum of 1 8 inch deflection up to a maximum of 3 16 inch deflection across this range here which is located here. As you can see I'm well beyond 3 16 maximum deflection therefore I need to tighten up the chain tension. We first need to loosen up the four bottom hex screws using an 11 32nd open end wrench or socket. There's one hex nut at the rear left, front left, front right, and the rear right. Loosen them several turns. With the four hex nuts loosened beneath the motor, you're able to slide the motor to the right to loosen up the chain tension or to the left to tighten up the chain tension. As you can see, next in between the nuts there's an oval slot on the motor base plate that allows for the lateral adjustment. As you can see here this drive chain has excessive slack. We need to tighten it up between 1 8 inch to 3 16 inch deflection. With the hex nuts loosened beneath the motor I'm going to compress the idler tensioning sprocket as shown and wiggle the motor base plate bracket towards the left which is towards the spring tensioner to tighten the chain. Double check the deflection and our goal is 1 8 inch minimum, 3 16 maximum. With the chain tension set, hold the motor bracket as shown and tighten up the front right hex nut and the rear right hex nut. With the front right and rear right hex nut secured, reconfirm that the drive chain is properly routed over all sprockets and engaged with their teeth. If, if that is satisfactory, recheck the tension deflection, ensure it's within specifications. If that's okay, tighten the front left and the rear left hex nuts. With the service panel closed and secured with the two screws, plug the power cord in and turn the toaster on. With the unit powered on, press and hold the booklet page button here for several seconds until Platinum A appears. Push and release the right arrow eight times. Until mortar values appear. The center numerical value represents the motor, the drive motor drag load. It should be between 550 and 650, fluctuating, not to exceed 700. If the value is within that range, the drive chain tensioning is okay. 
Verify that the lower three conveyor belts are turning continuously. And confirm the top large conveyor belt is also rotating continuously in conjunction with the lower ones.